So we now place ourselves in the love and presence of God. In the name of the Father, Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lord, your spirit. Lord, thank you for this moment of gathering. Thank you for this moment of sharing with the Holy Spirit that is inside us as your gift to us. Continue to bless our hearts to long for you, like St. Monica and St. Augustine. We will be celebrating this feast tomorrow today with St. Monica. Continue to steer the hearts of all mothers to be prayerful for their sons and daughters and for the family. And steer as well the hearts of each children, like St. Augustine, to respond to that same prayer as the will and the blessing of God. Be with us in this upper room of Zoom as we pray for the members of our families, wherever they are. Keep them safe, O oh Lord, and keep them in your love. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Glory to you Lord. O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man going on a journey called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to a third one, to a third one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. Immediately the one who received five talents went and traded with them and made another five. Likewise, the one who received two made another two. But the man who received one went off and dug a hole in the ground and buried his master's money. The one who had received five talents came forward bringing the additional five. He said, Master, you gave me five talents. See, I have made five more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received the one talent came forward and said, Master, I knew you were a demanding person, harvesting where you did not plant and gathering where you did not scatter. So out of fear, I went off and buried your talent on the, in the ground. Here it is back. His master said to him in reply, you wicked, lazy servant. So you knew that I have the, I harvest where I did not plant and gather what I did not scatter. Should you not then have put my money in the bank so that I could have got it back with interest on my return? Now then, take the talent from him and give it to the one with ten. For to everyone who has more will be given and he will grow rich. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And throw this useless servant into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Praise Lord, to you Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The Lord be with you. Good morning and good evening. Good evening, Father. Good evening, Father. Thanks perhaps for tonight. One is, of course, to honor St. Monica, the mother of St. Augustine. And so therefore, to honor all our mothers. It's so nice to see a woman, a saint, in the life of the church, who prayed so much for the conversion of the son in the name of St. Augustine. And how St. Augustine had really lived that prayer as inspired by the Lord. So much so that from a sinful life, it turned into a blessing towards becoming a great saint from bishop to the great saint and doctor of the church. And one beautiful thing in the liturgy of the arts is none other than at the last days of her life, really, they were talking with each other about the spiritual truth, about the truth of life, the truth of God. And the seemingly the loss of the pleasures on earth because they wanted really to be with the Father in heaven. They wanted to have the glory of God. So much so that in Monica's life, after the conversion of St. Augustine, she said, son, I don't have any wish to live anymore. 
it, all things have been fulfilled in me because of what the Lord has done. So we celebrate a woman, a mother, prayerful mother, and become truly an example as well for each and every one. That at the end, our life as well, especially for our mothers, and we pray for our mothers, their life becomes a prayerful moment for the family, putting and pulling together the family for the kingdom of God. So much so that with that, we come to the second part, which is the gospel of the night. The gospel of the night invites us to see our life with stewardship. All of us were given gifts, five, three, or one. But the first two, they really invested. They knew that it was coming from the Lord. And we can only surmise three things. One is stewardship is all about gratitude. When we are grateful to the talents that the Lord has given us, we develop the talents. We grow in those talents. And the talents that are given are used for us, by us to encounter God and to make our lives holy as well. Secondly, stewardship is a responsibility. Take note of the first two. They, invest, they invested. They were entrepreneurials as well themselves. They know that it's coming and given to them. So much so that there's a return. There should be an ROI for that. So much so that the Lord had commended them. And to the last one who did not do anything about his talent. It was only one. But he did not produce beyond that one. And he simply buried that talent. And at the end, he was punished as well by the Lord. So much so that we can only see talents are stewardships in its regard for us to be responsible. And when we become responsible for the talents that the Lord has given us, as I said, we become grateful, we grow, we invest, and there is the return of the investment. Because all of these things should be for our good, the good of our souls, and to glorify the Lord. And lastly, we can say that stewardship is none other than the mission that the Lord has entrusted to us. We have to be stewards as well of what the Lord has given us, our faith, our hope, the love. Those are the theological virtues that have been instilled in our hearts with the gift of baptism. The sacraments are gifts to us. The church is a gift to us. The word of God is a gift to us. And so therefore, it becomes our mission to spread the word to love the church, to support the church, and to what the Lord wanted from us, especially our love and care for the least, the lost, and the last. So each one of us has to recognize how many talents the Lord had given. It might be five, it might be beyond, but the most important thing is another than we check ourselves. Did we develop and let grow those talents in order for a closer more pleasing and holy every day. May we become a such real peace of the manifold blessing of God. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. For the gifts and talents you have given us. For the gifts, For the gifts and talents you have given us. For the gifts and talents you have given us. For the gifts, For the and, gifts and talents you have given, you have given us. us. Unworthy as we are. Unworthy, Unworthy as we are. are. We pray, O oh Lord. We, we pray, pray O oh Lord. Bless us to become more productive. Bless, Bless us, us to become more, more productive. productive. So that when the day comes. So that, so that, that, when, that when the day comes. comes when we'll be accounting all of these talents. We will find ourselves we will find, we will find ourselves, ourselves worthy of what you have given us. Worthy of what you have given us. Productive with a blessing. Productive, Productive with a blessing. And faithful to the mission. And faithful to the mission. We ask forgiveness, O oh Lord. We yes. ask for forgiveness, O oh Lord, for the many times, for the many times, many times, we do not use our talents properly. We do, we do not use, use our talents properly. Give us once more hearts. Give, Give us once more hearts. Firm and with a resolve. 
firm and with a firm result. To be more committed every day. To be more, be more committed every day. day. To develop these talents. To develop, develop these talents. talents. And like St. Monica. And, and like St. Monica. Monica. To be real stewards. To be real, to be stewards. Re real stewards. In prayer especially. In prayer, in prayer, prayer especially. For the blessings you have given us. For the blessings you have given us. Especially our families and children. Especially our families, our families, families and children. children. That we may bring each other. That we may, we may bring each other. To the fullness of the kingdom of God. To the fullness, For the fullness of, the of the kingdom of God. Of God. Amen. 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 Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of God in Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, sinners now that the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Saints Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel, pray for us. Angel of God, my guardian God, dear, Lord. to whom God's love is love to meet you here. To where this day be at night, the light and dark, the truth and guide. Amen. Saint Augustine, Saint Anthony, and Saint Hannibal. Pray, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Monica. Pray, pray, pray for us. Send, O Lord. O Lord the Lord, apostles Lord, into your church. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Almighty God, bless us all our families, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, Amen. 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 Good evening, all. Thank you. Good, Good evening, Father. Thank you very much. Yes. Welcome. Yeah, we're 10. Very nice. Five, five, very much. Uh, Thank Welcome you very much, Tito. Father. Welcome, Tito June. How are you? Hindi lang malabas ng bahay. Still inside. <laughs> hey, Tito, of course. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Tito. Good morning, Father. Wow. Good, Good morning, evening. Tita. Good evening Good and morning. Po. Eleven na tayo. Si Judas na lang kulang. Si Judas na lang kulang. <laughs> Hindi pa pasok yun, Matata. Hindi pa pasok. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi, may misa sa Tita Lena in at na sa Buklo daw. Meeting. Ginawag mm. ko sa pari. So, sabi niya, eh, kung pwede daw na ako na lang muna ang mag-red cell ko, okay, okay mm. naman. Pero she will try kung makahabi. Wow, galing. And tomorrow we have our mass, no? 7.30. Yeah. Uh -uh. mm. 7.30. Oh, so. Hindi 7.45, hindi 8. 7.30. <laughs> 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 Sunday mass. <laughs> yes, Father. Galing, galing. May, may, may very good example tayo, Father, about uh, St. Monica ba? Very good example. One of uh, one of the warriors ba? Uh, I don't know kung na, uh, you still remember, no? Um, yung... He, wa he was in the mountain, nag-join siya ng, ng NPA, tapos a mother niya, very, very uh, prayerful. And, and then, then nag-ano siya? Ibotang si sa Ho Pero... Ha? ha? <laughs> tapos, Sorry. tita. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lumabas ng blood work ni Anthony Hukasak. Oo. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, ta tapos because of because of uh, it's okay because of the very prayerful mother, no? Na every mm -hmm. gin gin ano niya talaga gin 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 ampo niya sa ginoo gin halad niya ang ano niya ang anak niya. Um, mm -hmm. uh, ngayon ang anak niya is leader ng ano ng our Church. lady of Beatrix. Our lady wow. of Beatrix with uh, like two thousand um, followers. Oh, like two thousand followers. So. Very, very, ano, very, very pious uh, follower and devotee of uh, Mama Mary. So, a mother niya is like, um, uh, what was like Saint Monica. Mm -hmm. Imagine a mother, no? The, the, the fear of the mother, the fear and the care of the mother na ang anak is, uh, he went astray. Pero mm -hmm. for a while, for a while lang pala. Kasi yes. because, of, because of her prayers. Because of her prayers and faith, siguro. So ngayon is church leader. Imagine, no? So my hope was your father. My hope was your father. Ah, naman. You pray, you pray for your children. Never ending. The Lord will take her. The Lord will take good care of them. Yeah. Pero sabi ni Pope Paul VI, dapat ang mga fathers more prayerful. 
Hala oh. yung kina Tito Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse it to Manny. <laughs> Hindi lang mother no ang mag-prayerful no pati na hmm. pati na father ang mag-prayerful. That's from Pope Paul the 6th uh, sabi niya the father is uh, in view of the example of St. Joseph should be really the leaders of the prayer at home. Oh, being the head of the family. Oh, uh, yes, the being the priest of the family. Briefly, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, please go ahead, uh, to, uh, Dr. Jun. Uh, I am taking the the, you know, the work of the, my, uh, my wife who, was, who is gone. So I have oh, to pray for good. my children. Oh, very ikaw ang substitute. Oh, i-continue mo. Oh. Ang yes. briefly no naka naka ano ako naka naka-watch ako ng ng homily ni uh, sino ba 'yun ang priest na 'yun nasa uh, Father Conception. Conception. Yeah. Oo oh, oh, na. Na there is no there is not mentioned in the Bible na to uh, na um, mother mothers or parents take care of your children your up children. to old age. Uh, up to malaki na sila ang oh. ang 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 nasa bible daw is children take yeah. care of your parents when they become old yes oh tapos tapos nagremind kayo mga bata ganito love your mother love your father take care of them when they become old because there's no there's nothing in the bible that says parents take care of the children until they are old So the Pero Bible, ngayon, lalo na sa Ephesians, ay sorry, itatapos niya, uh, would, should love their children and give good example. Because when they love and give good example, in return, later on, their children yeah, yeah. will take good care of their parents. Yes, ito. So, uh, go, go ahead. Uh, and sa ngayon, Father, eh, bumabaliktad na ngayon eh. <laughs> ano na po yun? <laughs> na, ano na, most, mostly ng mga parents na sa hospice, no, hospice na eh. Oh, uh, that's sad. the sad, no? Nasa, oh. nasa nursing home na. Nasa nursing, nursing home yes. na. Instead na uh, yung mga anak ang mag-take care. Uh, Depende naman kasi Philippines for the demands. Dito, it's already being, ano, parang naging sa ano na rin siya, trend. It's a Philippines. Oh, oh, oh kahit dito. dito. Kahit dito sa atin. Oh, oh. oh yes, very true. Oh, depende sa reason kasi nga kasi nga ma, ang sabi naman is kasi may kanya-kanyang buhay, may kanya-kanyang buhay na ang mga adults na they have to take care of the family. Pero a, a, ako mismo no, my father was in the nursing home for five years. Pero mm-hmm. sa nursing home na doon ako. Doon that's ako. Okay. So that's another eh, thing. Yeah, that's okay. But but I didn't really feel guilty na ginano ang father namin. Kaysa maiwan siya mag-isa sa bahay na wala siyang kasama. Ang, kung sa nursing home siya, maraming activities sa nursing home. It depends on a nursing home. May mga nursing home na na either pwede makakumpit sa bahay, sa atmosphere, uh, home-like uh, atmosphere. Tapos ang care is iba. Ang care, kung, kung, wala, kung ang mga anak is walang time sa mga parents nila sa nursing home is may mayroon. Uh, mali ang notion ng iba na because of nursing home, tinambak lang ang, ang pasyente, ang nanay ninyo dyan o ang tatay ninyo dyan lang, parang ginabandon lang. No. Hindi. Hindi, hindi ganyan. Kasi nga isang maganda tita, I mean, sa iyo, that could be an exception kasi you were also there at the nursing home. Every day. Pero so. yung, yung, yung care and the love of a son or a daughter to the father, na sana the father and the mother could really get from their son, it's really different from the care of uh, of the nursing home. Of other home. people. Although, yun, from professional yun to become really compassion. Ang shift naman kasi from professional to compassion eh. Sa, uh-huh. ang, sa sons and daughters kasi iba pa rin yung love na naibigyan pa rin sa parents. So, po, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Pero sa inyo naman uh-huh. kasi, you were there. So that's a different thing. Kasi nga, you are there every day. So seemingly, uh-huh. your dad sees you every day. Uh-huh. Pero ang iba kasi na mga anak, o oh, nagbabayad lang kasi may pambayad. So parents are there. Uh-huh. So that's another extreme. That's an extreme really. That the parents do not feel the warmth of their love by virtue of the reason that, you know, they have also their activities, they have their families, 
they could not do that. Pero long. iba iba talaga ang home. Yes. Iba And iba talaga yung care ng anak sa parents. Huh. <clears throat> ang ang ano naman na- kasi is nagaklik dito ang ano ang nag, ang mga nursing homes dito. Depende kasi sa culture. Ang culture dito kasi is iba eh. Sa atin is talagang mm-hmm. we don't give up our parents, di ba? Oo. Family dito tides. kasi is wala yung <laughs> home. Mm-hmm. Eh, oh, please go ahead, na, Tita ha? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, ma- mostly, mostly kasi yung way of life ngayon is very ano, uh, heavy compared to the life Noon. before. Oh, oh, oh. You have to double time now to earn more. So to pay the bills. They, have, they don't. They don't. don't they don't have any <laughs> more for time again for for the for their parents. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's true. No. Depende sa culture. Please go ahead, Dad. I call. Ang ang nakikita ko lang kasi the difference is um, I've seen how we siblings took care of our father and of our mother mm-hmm. and of our two siblings. Uh, na mm-hmm. ano kami kaming magkakapatid talaga ang nag-alaga ng sa bahay okay mm-hmm. and nakikita ako naman dito sa US ay hindi pwedeng gawin yun the reason for that i think really is yung economic realities ba oh. kasi sa atin it is easy like for us like for us no it was easy for us to take care of nanay kasi mm-hmm. na was yung caregivers na doon na tutulog talaga sa bahay, doon na nakatira, ikinawa ah, ah. talaga namin siya ng yaya. Kayang-kaya sa Pilipinas yun kasi may makukuha ka na, na ganun. Ah. So mm-hmm. pwedeng sa bahay mo alagaan ang iyong parents o ang iyong elderly na sibling kasi may makukuha ka na mag-aalaga. So then, uuwi ikaw, ma- ma- pupuntaan mo sa kwarto si nanay, yun din yan, kakausapin mo siya, di ba? Ganun. Ngayon, ah. dito naman, you cannot afford You, have, uh, you cannot afford to to pay a full time dalawa dalawang caregivers ay they are being paid by the hour ha uh, ha uh, it's true yes ang nani uh, lang ang nani lang dito ang bayad is what 25 dollars an hour so bata lang yan ha? nani lang yan yaya lang 25 uh, an hour ay yun pa kayang yun pa kayang bedridden or ano yes. so talagang uh-huh. the children tapos free yun free ha huh? free ang nursing home the the children uh-huh. the children are are forced to make this hard decision really uh-huh. na, some of them yeah it's true tita core ho they are forced ho oh, they, they are forced mm-hmm. although syempre you, you try to juggle the juggle the time no juggle the time. Pero, yun nga, na, kung sa Pilipinas, kakayanin. Iba. Ha-o, kakayanin. Iba. Oo. Na ganun. Pero dito, parang, Ha-o. either full time na mag-aalaga ang anak sa bahay sa kanyang parents, wala na siyang trabaho. Or magtatrabaho siya para masupport niyang nanay niya. Uh, ano din naman, conveniently, comfortably doon sa nursing home. Para uh, gano'n. So it's, mm-hmm. it's a choice between a hard place and a uh, parihas nga. Ano. Anyway. Uh, uh, especially <laughs> sa akin, sa in my case, I am the only one. So, when I go to work, walang mag-aalaga sa mga parents ko. Walang maiiwan sa bahay. So, mm-hmm. ganun, ganun. If you if you are only one, you cannot uh, ihati mo yung katawan mo or time mo to take care of your parents. Dahil ikaw lang mag-isa. Oo. Kami naman kasi uh, we were we are blessed. We are blessed na lahat kami na magkakapatid nandito and then and then parang neighbors lang kami. So ang ginawa namin sa father namin is dinala sa nursing home. Um, tapos uh, every every Saturday nilalabas namin every Saturday yan. From from dusk to dawn. 
yun ang kwan. So so it depends on the situation really, it depends on the culture, it depends on the situation. Pero bottom line mostly is uh, for for the good and beneficial to the elderly. Mm-hmm. Uh, as long kwan. as that intention that you know all the things are done uh-huh. out of love. Out and not love. because oh. the parents mm-hmm. are ano na sa atin parang pasaway or too much we do not kasi mm-hmm. kung it's it's a putting there because we simply do not want na to be disturbed because of many reasons or another then that's a different story but you know putting them uh-huh. there for a better reason na you know uh, it's still care i i love uh-huh. you still mom and dad but you know this is my situation but thanks be to uh-huh. god we have financial capability And there uh-huh. are people who could be of help, and I will never abandon you. So that that statement, na that pay the children would never abandon their parents. Uh-huh. I guess that's something very, very, ano na, very uh-huh. touching. And I uh, said that's the, the love that they have. After all, sabi na sabi natin, di ba? Who are our first neighbors? The parents are our first neighbors. Because that's the fourth commandment. After the three mm. commandments about God, it's love your parents, honor them. Uh-huh. I I have known father uh, a family mm-hmm. na dalawa yung anak uh, na namatay yung yung lalak ang 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 kapatid na lalaki tapos mm-hmm. yung naiwan yung uh, nurse na kapatid na babae so dalawa lang sila mm-hmm. ngayon namatay ang ang nurse sa sakit then mm-hmm. ang naga ang 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 matandang uh, nanay na, nanay nila ni hinahatiran ng 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 mga neighbors ng pagkain sa sa bahay nila until the time that came that na na, na ano lang nila na nakita na lang nila na patay na yung 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 matanda Mm-hmm. Oh, iba, oh, depende sa situation nga. Depende so, sa situation. Oh. So, kasi nauna na namatay ang dalawang anak. Yes. Nauna na namatay ang dalawang anak. Opo. God bless the neighbor. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Question pa. Yes, pati naman. <laughs> uh, a gift challenge also, father. Yeah, I mean one name of the ta. Uh, it's synonymous. Synonymous. Okay. Yeah. Speaking the talents, about talents. Yeah. Speaking okay. about talents. What if I uh, decide to just bury my talent? Because those, uh, for example, the talent that I have is to create weapons of mass destruction. What can you say about? It? So that that talent is uh, not used according to the plan of God because you have to destroy people. Yeah. Can there be a reverse of the talent instead of mass destruction what can be done? <coughs> so instead of the weapon for mass destruction why not the weapon to unite people? Uh, misuse na classy talent yan. Mm-hmm. Kasi Mysterious if it is talent, it should be really to glorify God. Yes. And to lead our lives to the Lord, closer to the Lord. Tito June, nakamute ka. Tito June, I know you're t- uh, saying something. Nakamute ka, Tito June. Um, yeah. yeah. I was saying, the real talent given was intelligence. And it was misused to create weapons of mass destruction. It's not good, of course. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. Because the freedom and the intelligence are the first gifts of the Lord. While we have the intelligence, we are used, we are asked to use it wisely, the freedom. But the freedom is not to destroy others. Uh-huh. Is to develop so, other sana. So those creating the promote, bombs, promote uh, peace uh, are uh, unsearable to God also. Yes, unsearable. Uh-huh. And we are also unsearable when we not condone them, when we not condemn them. 
and we simply, you know, keep quiet. Especially That's why this, the talent uh, is responsibility and mission. Especially That's the talents of uh, doctors who, uh, who, who perform uh, abortion. Abortions. Yes. Abortion. Yes. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Mm -hmm. In fact, the bus abortion, when the doctor does it with the woman, he is an accomplice of that. And if so facto, automatic, excommunicated the uh -huh. doctor. So if he's a Catholic, he could not receive communion. He could not, re you know. In fact, he needs the absolution of the bishop. And mm -hmm. only priests that are delegated can give the absolution. But ordinary priests without the... Uh, the faculty of absolving abortion, they could not uh, grant that one. They have to go to the bishop. Although thanks to Pope uh, Francis, for the last four years, he has given all priests all over the world to absolve abortion. Oh, it's How a great you... scene. It's a great scene. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's just... it's murder. Yes. It's murder. See, no? Life belongs very to the gross, life belongs Very to gross. Very gross. Mm -hmm. Very true. Oh, life ang, belongs ang the to the Lord. And the process alone of, of, of abortion is very, very, very gross. So, yeah. Father, people will undergo abortion and just seek absolution? Well, no, if they have done that one, if they have the remorse, then that's the time they ask for absolution. It's not simply asking for absolution in order to do it again. So once you, uh -oh. once you ask for absolution, it means you are repentant of your sin yeah. and you will not do it anymore. Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> There's the conversion of heart and you know what you have done is evil. Oh. Right. Hindi ka naman siguro. Maski na na-absolve ka, pero deep inside that, that sinner, siguro na it's okay, I'm going to commit it again, siguro. I so mean, it's not a true contrition. Not a true, yeah, it's not a true confession. So, wow. Very <laughs> nice stuff. Mas hindi accomplice para pag uh, nag-anesthesia na ganyan, no? Hala, mag-guilty ako sure. niyan, Father. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know. It was an emergency. So they called me one time sa BCMC, Bisayan Community Hospital. Oh, doctor, do you, you have an emergency? Uh, a DNC. Kasi nag-bleed ng musto, nag-bleeding daw. Okay. Tapos pagdating ko, di diretso ka agad, no? Binigyan ko na ng pento. Ayan, tinatulog na. Hala, nastak. Sabi ko, ano nastak dyan? Akala ko ba DNC ito? Nako, hindi ko na. Kasi emergency, nandun na sila sa loob. Yun pala, nastak kasi ang head. Abortion. Abortion pala. Abortion. Hala, oh. hindi na ako makaano. Wala. Kasi uh, I am to save the life of the patient. Eh, hindi ko alam na may ginawa pala sila sa loob. Eh, tinawag na lang ko doon sa DNC. It's not oh, your oh, sin, siguro. You did it. Kung hindi, kung hindi mo alam, tita, so you are not liable for that. I Pero see, yung engage, ethical engagement to, dapat uh, talagang both lives should be saved. Although minsan pinaprioritize yung mother, no? kasi siyempre mother yun. Yung child parang second, ano, second in priority. Pero the, the thought really sana dapat, ethical standards, is to save both. Now, along the line, if the child could not be saved, but then things had been done so as to save, so wala ka ng liability doon. Pero kung at the outset, uh, to save only the mother and to kill the child, that's, uh, that's sinful. Sige, Tita Bex, limpyo na ang konsensya mo. It was not your fault. You didn't know kasi... Ang hirap ng physiologist pagkaganyang situation, Father, na you're being called to uh, to answer for an emergency na gano'n pala, na hindi mo alam. Tapos abortion pala. Okay. Something And, happened pala. pala. Sa, sa loob eh. All you have to do is just patulugin lang pasyente kasi eh, hindi nga, maano sa sakit or what. Ay! Pag nanguli sa'yo, what? What are you doing? Iba pala itong... 
Sana ginblame mo ang ano, you, you talk to the uh, obstetrician, you talk you to her. You could have told me first, what uh, what are you doing? Oh. Yes. Sana pinatulog mo na ang um, obstetrician. Masa <laughs> 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 importante, tita, hindi ka accomplished doon kasi you were cold. Wala ka namang alam, siyempre. Although yung ano mo doon would be siguro yung omission mo, you did not ask why, so on and so forth. Because mm. I was I was informed only na uh, I Emergency. have the life dahil nag-bleeding daw. Ah, mm. okay. Eh, hindi naman ako sinabi na yung pala, may main problem pala sila. Eh, Diyos ko. Gila. <laughs> wow. Tingila tita mi. Yan confession na yun. Open confession pero yeah. ngayon ko lang na naalaala ba na ala noong nagsabi kayo na ganyan ay no unga no naging accomplished pala ako doon. Kawet tabi ng bata ko diyan ba. Basta kung sadya ibig sabihin accomplished ka. Pag hindi mo naman alam, you are not. Okay. Salamat. Thank so, Father, are the three conditions not uh, complete for a for the to become a grave sin? Well, kasi hindi niya man alam. The knowledge so, is not... Uh, although uh, sa'yo yung omission ni Tita, she did not ask. Although she was compelled by virtue of the emergency. So the word was emergency, but you know, without inquiry, kung what is to be done and why it was happening or why she has to do the anesthesia. So if it is not complete knowledge, so it, it does not conform to the three things so that it becomes a mortal sin. Okay. Wow, so nice. Okay. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Father. Thank you very thank you, much. See you sa mas bukas. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Love you, Father. We love you. Bye. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. Please go ahead. Yes. Wala pala ako. Please go ahead with the three pointers. Yes, uh, the, the three pointers coming from Matthew chapter 25, verses 14 to 15, 19 to 20, 22 to 23, 24, 25 to 26, and 28 to 29. The first pointer. Each of the servants in the parable was given talents according to their abilities, and each was expected to use them responsibly. These talents are God's priceless gifts to us that, came, that come in many forms. Second pointer. These varied talents given to us could be our material wealth, the gifts of teaching, leadership, intelligence, art, compassion, and the like. The third pointer. Ponder on your God-given talents. Have you used them well and responsibly? How is God challenging you to use them for his greater glory? Amen. 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 Uh, just like uh, what Father Danny said, no? Yeah. About, about talents. Uh, about talents. So, um, any uh, piece of your thought? about this um, three pointers use them for only the good things and not good, only good things yeah so. if if and when it creates something distorted to others so we will just abandon no? uh -oh. just like what uh, father danny said if it is if it for the can reverse it it is for uh, the unit in a long work for the unit of the group. Right. Uh, very, oh, very, uh, no, very, um, very nice ang question mo, Tito Manny, ab Tito about, Manny. about that. Oh, oh, very nice ang question. Kulang pa nga yun eh. Eh, ang pagiging chismosa, gift ata yun eh. Talent. Langka. 
talaga. It's true. It gives so much joy. So much joy. And, uh, therapeutic sa iba. Ang chismis therapeutic. Something to do. <laughs> Basta hindi lang makakasira. Chismis mo lang naman ay sarili mo. Anong masama doon? Oh, oh. That's another <laughs> point. <laughs> destroy other people's reputation. Uh, uh, right. uh, <laughs> But if it is a fact, is it that she's miss? Yes. It is still she's miss. Yes, siguro. <laughs> <laughs> so it depends on the motive. Kung ano plano mo, bakit yeah. ka nagchismis? Bakit ka nagsay something? If yeah. it's informative. It's not chismis, no? Because you're informing. If it's okay. true. Kung totoo yung... If it's inaharin. true. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. But if you're saying it just to destroy the... Somebody, oh, oh. Oh. Chismis mm. kasi, is, uh, ang purpose is to destroy. Eh. To destroy yeah. the yeah. dignity. Oh, oh. Yun ang number... Yes. Oh my God. Yun ang number one. Ano, uh, a big no-no. Destroying a dignity. Mm. Yun ang kwan. A purpose. Yun ang pinakamasama. Pinakamasama. Mm. It's just like killing. Eh, ng information. Yeah, mahirap uh -oh. i-repair yun eh. Ay, ma mahirap i-repair yun. So, I yeah. don't think it's a talent. Is it a talent ito, Manny? Talent din siguro. Kaya lang ginuse sa iba eh, no? Misuse talent to. Oo. Oh. Kasi we have the freedom, no? Free will. Hmm. Talent misused. Supposed to be used for God's glory. Oo. Oh. Oo. Mm. Help talent to describe, talent to relate, yun. Mm -hmm. yun that's, talent but that's, uh, that's a talent that's so hard to, ano? <laughs> to be guarded. To curb. masama na talent eh. Hindi naman magbibigay ang Diyos ng talent na masama. Kung makakasama. Uh -oh. masama. So, yeah, it's true. Uh -oh. Pero because of the free will, yan, ginamit uh -oh. sa kasamaan. Mm. Allah! Uh -oh. Naisip ko ito ni si Putin sa ginawa niya sa Ukraine. Oh. He has the talent, the, the, the power and everything. Ginamit naman niya sa destruction. So, yun. Have But, you ever uh, thought about why the Ukraine war is still going on? If Putin is so powerful, why is it still going on? Have you asked that? Maka dinadrama lang tayo ka right now si Zelensky. Who is the Prime Minister of Anoy? Na, na, nasa cover ng bo Vogue eh. So are they oh. just putting up a ano? Hindi, uh, siguro hindi. totoo naman kasi gina-attack ko. Oh, gina-attack sila kasi eh. Hindi oh. naman siguro. It, it's not a joke to be killing lives, guy. It's not the... A... I know, but why is it still going on? If the Putin is so powerful, he has all the arsenal. Ukraine is very small compared sa power ng ano. Um, I I think kulang ng practice ang army ni Putin. Ku kulang oh, sa practice. They keep saying that there, there's, 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 you hear uh, ano na Ukraine is wi winning. Good so, kung ganyan. Ho. Really, sometimes I'm, you know, all this politics is so, politics is so dirty. Oh. That's all I can say. It's been said. It's really politics, said. politics killed my life. Yeah. Yun lang, uh, huh? Politics killed true. my life. You huh? are a living memento for that. Huh? Huh? Right. So, anyway. And crushing the dignity because of chismis ano, killed me also. So, nawala mm, na ang... Right. Ano, nawala na ang, ang... Ang original na Dr. Mary June sa Panta, nawala na sa Iloilo. Namatay na yun. <laughs> But magreli so rek. Magreli so rek in a few days. Anyway, any other ano any any other talent? Okay, please go ahead, Tita Cor. Okay. Um. Ito iba na hindi na to chismis. Okay. So about about the topic of the gospel, God knows us personally. Because he created us and he knows to whom he gave more and to whom he gave less. But the important thing to remember is that um, he only gives to us what we are ready to receive and what we are able to use. 
subject, of course, to God's grace and to our free will. Okay. So having said that, that, that everyone has its own share of talents, some have more, some have less, God has equal trust in all of us um, that we can make use because he knows everything. He knows that we can actually make use of the talents that he is giving us. Maybe this is the reason why in the parable, the master got angry with the one who was too lazy or he did not care enough to do something about the talent given to him because the master knows or God knows that whatever he gives you, you are, you are given by God Reliable. enough ability, enough ah. capacity to make use of it. Okay. So, and then um, in his wisdom, God created men in such a way that no one is sufficiently or very self-sufficient such that he will never need anything from anyone else. And the reverse of that, God did not create anyone who is so poor that he cannot share or he cannot give anything to others at all. And so if we notice in our Christian life and in our communities, God has, di ba kung minsan naiisip natin, ano ba ito, bakit naman, mag, yung, yung maraming mahirap pa rin, kahit na anong charity work ang gawin ng simbahan, marami pa rin, marami pa rin mahirap, okay? So maybe God put them, put them side by side, the haves and the have nots, because God wants to use our talents or God wants to use the endowments he gave us to supply the needs of those around us. So they have not, the haves have needs that only the have nots can give to them, can supply for them. And the have nots, the have nots have needs that only the haves can share or can provide to them. And this is how God wants his people to live, one helping each other towards salvation. So what does that mean? Uh, it means that every time we have to pray for God's grace, so we will have the will and we will have the humility to receive as well as to give because it takes a lot of humility to be able to give something to somebody much more endowed than you are. Di ba? Parang mahihiya ka magbigay ng ito lang ang kaya ko. So it needs, it requires humility to be able to do that. Tapos, ganun din yung mga mayayaman. It requires humility from them to be able to go down to the level of those who don't have and give without making it appear as if it, they're doing charity work. So th they have to put themselves in the shoes of those who don't have and not trample on the, so that they don't trample on the dignity of, of the, those who have less in life. So rich or poor, we need to pray for God's grace all the time. So we can have the will and we have the humility to both give and receive. Amen. Amen. Oh. May, may nabasa ako noon na, I don't know if I can still find na, uh, like, uh, I asked God for love. He gave me difficult people to help. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Um, yes. I, I will I will I know I, I will look for that tapos i, i post ko maganda maganda na na I Lord I I, I was asking for love but you gave me you gave me difficult people difficult to please or to, yes. oh, oh. Uh, I I 
I I ask for strength, but you gave me enemies yeah, yeah. to fight. Yeah. Oo. Yeah, pa parang opposite, parang opposite ang, ang binibigay ng God. So, ang ano dyan is all prayers are answered. Mm -hmm. All prayers are answered pala. Oo. Pero in different, in different way. Imagine ka you ask for you ask for love and then hindi ka binig akala mo hindi ka binigyan ng ng love but God gave you difficult people to care for. Yeah. So if you care for those difficult people, love pa rin 'yun, 'di ba? Yes. <laughs> so mm -hmm. maybe 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 when we pray for when uh, when we pray for love God answers us by saying, you have more than enough love. You should give some love away. That's why he gives you people who need love. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Maybe that's the answer. So <laughs> Yeah. Uh -oh. you, oh, oh, I, 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 that was a very uh, very beautiful um, piece of thought yun, from somewhere. Tapos parang ginkopya ko, I'm going to share. I'm going to share to you. Ang bottom line doon is all prayers are answered. Pero in God's way. God's way para maintindihan natin. So, yeah. amen. Amen. <laughs> so, it's easy so, to love those you love, but it's so hard to love those people those, who are unlovable. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh. So, and God yun. created everything perfectly. See? Uh, Can you imagine free will, God free will created everybody rich? See? Yeah, no more people. charity. Wala so, ng charity. We cannot practice charity if lahat tayo is rich. Mm -hmm. Before you will have all this with you. Mo hindi na mawawala yung mga mahirap. Because they are they are doing they are doing some part of what God plans for salvation for everyone. They're playing a role that you know. So Anyway, amen. Thank you very much. Amen. Very nice topics, sana. Kaya lang ano may pupuntahan ako. And uh, um, any closing prayer? Sige. Closing prayer, ha? Huh? Oh, sige. Okay. For I hope prayer to the Holy Child Jesus. Cleanse our hearts, Child Jesus, to shine as thine. Dwell in this temple's heart, dwell within mine. Be with us, holy child. Console us in our days. Make our paths straight. Help us amend our ways. Geared us with the armor to ward off the foe. Grant us grace to bear our crosses. Guide us to grow. Help us live out the word, incarnate in you. Through the intercession of Mary, St. Joseph, and the spirit of truth. Pray for us, Antonino, divinity in youth. Amen. 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 And glory be to the Amen. Father, to the Son, to the Holy Amen. Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, beginning is now and ever shall be, be world without the end. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.